Hello, this is just a short tutorial video for those of you working on the first page of the packet. And in this packet, you're trying to find the slope and the y-intercept of each line. So first of all, we are going to be working with slope-intercept form. And all that means is it's typically written like this, y equals mx plus b. But if we look at some examples, you'll see it written something similar to this, where they always start with a y because it's... It's the slope-intercept form. And the reason that they call it slope-intercept form is because you start with the y, you have your slope, and you have your y-intercept. So if we look at it, you'll see a lot of times I'll write it like this on the board, y equals mx plus b, and we'll substitute m out. m stands for the slope. So wherever m is, whatever number is in that spot, that's your slope. And whatever comes after it, and so in the equation, we write y equals mx plus b. b, you'll always substitute in what the y-intercept is. So we're going to go through some examples of some that you might see on the first page of the packet. That way, if you ever get stuck, just come back to this video, watch the video, and the video will help you figure it out. So to help you out, wherever I see the slope, I'm going to put in green. And the y-intercept, I am going to put in pink. So let's look at some examples here. So here's the first one, and this is usually how you see it. So the slope is was substituted in for the m. So right now the slope is a negative 2. One common mistake that I'll see is people will put, oh, it's a negative 2x. No, no, it's just a negative 2. Because when you get coordinates, you can substitute numbers in for the y and for the x. So the slope is not a negative 2x, it's just a negative 2. And here is my y-intercept. So again, if we go back, you can see it's y equals mx plus b. I substituted the negative 2 in for the m, and I substituted the 3 in for the b. So if you're looking at an equation, whatever number is attached to that x is going to be your slope. Nope, sorry, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be your slope. And then whatever comes afterwards is going to be your y-intercept. So let's look at the next example. It looks very, very much like the same. The only difference is now your slope is just 2. It's not a negative 2. So we can't forget to look to see if there's negatives there. And notice this one right here. Now the y-intercept is not 3. It's a negative 3. It's a negative 3. So let's look at another example. This one might look a little bit confusing because every once in a while you'll see it written in a different format. This is still slope-intercept form. All they did was they moved the slope off to the far side and this is still going to be the y-intercept. So I know now because it's not attached to that x, that's going to be my y-intercept and it's a positive 3 because there's nothing in front of it. But my slope is going to be a negative 2. So you shouldn't see anything like this on the packet, but every once in a while you'll see it written like this, um, just to see if you truly understand that whatever is attached to the x, that's going to be your slope. So just because this comes first doesn't make it the slope. And again, it's a negative 2. It's not a negative 2x. So you look at this next one where it says y equals a negative 2x, but there's nothing behind it. Now, if there's nothing behind it, that means that this is still the slope, but you do not have a y-intercept. So it could be written like this. So your um, y-intercept is 0. Normally, they don't write it because you don't need it. It's 0. So y equals a negative 2x. The negative 2 is going to be your slope. And if someone asked you, what's the y-intercept, you would say, zero. There is none. So you look at the one below it. Now there's no x in it. So your only, the only piece of information you have is this right here, and that's the y-intercept because there's no x attached to it. So that's going to be your y-intercept. And if you were asked on the packet what is the slope, you would put zero. There is no slope. Zero. In other words, this is going to be a line that goes straight across on your graph. Because the slope, if the slope is zero, it doesn't mean it's not going up, it's not going down, it's going straight across. 
Now, every once in a while, you're going to have fractions in there, and that's okay. Everything still is the same. This is still going to be your slope, and it's a negative 2 thirds. It's not a negative 2, it's a negative 2 thirds. It's not a negative 2 thirds x, it's a negative 2 thirds. And this one down here is a positive 3 fourths. It's not 3 fourths x, it's 3 fourths. And this one right here is a positive 2, and this is a negative 2 for the y intercept. So these are all the examples that you should need to successfully complete the first part or the first page of the packet. Now make sure you're looking and watching this video if you have questions. It's not okay to sit and say, I don't know how to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Ask questions of me if you need to. But before you ask questions of me, I would like you to watch this video and see if you can start figuring this out on yourself. So you are going to have to know that the slope is always going to be attached to the x right here in slope-intercept form, and your y-intercept is going to be next. This is something you, you have to know. You have to, I'm not going to say you have to memorize it, you have to learn it, because learning is a relatively permanent behavior process. And knowing that will allow you to complete these problems. So as always, make sure you ask questions if you have them, but make sure you've also watched the video. Thanks.